Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Greetings, greetings, shalom. I am Color Me Bad Lynn. Welcome back to my channel. It is a pleasure to come back on and talk to you uh, and, and share part one of my hot granny summer perfume picks from my collection. But before we get into that, let's take care of a little bit of business. Don't forget to like the video. If you like the video, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you'll be reminded each and every time that I upload a video. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. It'll be somewhere in here. All right, and then that way I can keep coming with the content. How about that? Let's make a deal, let's make a deal. I hope everybody is all well. Great, great, great. All right, so. My first fragrance on the list of my hot granny uh, summer perfume picks will be Moschino Toy Number no. Two. And if you've seen any of my uh, fragrance videos before, I featured this fragrance in my spring sexy fragrance collection. Can't remember if it was part one or part two, but I didn't get a chance to wear it this spring, and we're. We're moving in the summertime, so we're going to slide this girl right on over into the summer. I'm going to bring her in a little closer so you guys can get a, a good look at this bottle. It's absolutely gorgeous, you guys. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to come back on later and give a um, extensive review on each individual fragrance, okay, so that you can get a little bit more familiar with the fragrance and uh, find out why I love this fragrance so much, all right? So again, this is Moschino Toy 2. My second fragrance on the list will be Gucci Bloom. This is from the Gucci Bloom collection. This is my favorite out of the two. I like the red bottle too, so we'll come on and talk about her too. But this one, I didn't get a chance to rock this spring, so I'm gonna slide this one over into the summer as well. Hopefully, I will get a chance to enjoy her. Number two fragrance from my Hot Granny Summer perfume pick, Gucci Bloom. All right. So my third pick is a hidden gem. And this one is an old school fragrance. Someone gifted this to me. I had used to wear this like maybe 15, 16 years ago. And somebody threw this in my goodie basket one day. And I said, okay, thank you. Thank you very kindly. And I absolutely love this fragrance, you all. This is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It is Ed Hardy's Love and Luck. Uh, uh, all three of these fragrances, the first three are white florals. The first two were semi-sweet. This one is a super sweet. And some would say, well, you shouldn't wear that in the summertime in hot, hot heat. I probably wouldn't wear it over like 80 degrees, but this is an absolutely gorgeous fragrance. Again, this is Ed Hardy's Love and Luck. Absolutely beautiful fragrance I love. I will always try to keep that fragrance in my collection. It is gorgeous. My next fragrance is from the house of Issy Miyake. I've been talking a lot about Issy lately. Issy has some beautiful fragrances. This is a green, white, semi-sweet floral. And the name of this fragrance is Pleats, Please. It reminds me of the rock candy they used to sell at Famous and Bar. That's what this reminds me of. All right. And then my next fragrance on my uh, list that I want to share with you guys is Aromatics in White. Let me turn it around so you can actually see the name. And you've seen this fragrance before. I shared this with you as well from my Sexy Spring collection. And I didn't get a chance to rock her anywhere. I didn't get a chance to go anywhere to rock her. So we're gonna slide her over into the summer. This is a semi-sweet candy white floral. This fragrance is absolutely gorgeous, ladies. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll come on and give an extensive review on this fragrance as well. It deserves it deserves it okay and then my last honorable mention 
is a old school fragrance and actually when this fragrance was super super popular i really didn't i didn't have it in my collection i didn't have a fragrance collection back then uh and so this is something that i always admired others uh others that own this fragrance i always love the fragrance i especially love the men's version of this fragrance and this is none other than cool water yes i like cool water for women it is absolutely gorgeous this is the eau de toilette <clears throat> and if you've heard me speak about fragrances before i'm not an eau de toilette girl i like eau de parfums and parfums and parfum extracts and oils okay but this fragrance lasts and lasts and lasts it is worth every penny and then some they can triple charge what they charge for this fragrance it's an hidden gem or oldie but goodie and this fragrance will always be somewhere in my collection it's extremely affordable this is a beautiful beautiful aquatic fragrance if you like fresh light airy ar aromatic fragrances this is beautiful you guys absolutely gorgeous so again i was supposed to have five on part one of the fragrances but i had an honorable mention which made it six the first one is Moschino Toy 2, which is a semi-sweet floral. In no particular order, my second fragrance that I will be rocking, hopefully be rocking, for my hot granny summer perfume pick out of my collection will be Gucci Bloom. My third choice will be none other than Ed Hardy's Love and Luck. All right. This is a sweet white floral. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to come on and give her her just due, you guys. That, that fragrance right there is dangerous. If, you, if you've never owned that in your collection or smelled it or ever heard of it, that fragrance is absolutely gorgeous, you guys, and extremely affordable, extremely. My next fragrance that I will be rocking that I would like to share with you guys for my hot granny summer perfume pick. Ladies, this is an absolute gorgeous green, a white floral green fragrance that is semi-sweet. This is Pleats Please by the House of Isimiyake. All right. And we also will have on our list from our hot granny summer perfume pick out of my collection will be Aromatics and White from the Cosmetic Company and House of Clinique. This is a beautiful white candy floral. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance, ladies. Absolutely gorgeous. That fragrance could actually be unisex. A gentleman could wear that. It's, it's a beautiful, it's, it's a nice enough fragrance for a man to wear it. Okay? And then this is my honorable mention. She was calling my name. And she said, you don't pick, you never pick me, but you wear me. So bring me out, pull me out, show me off. Cool water will definitely be a part of my hot granny summer. All right. Well, that's it for part one of my hot granny summer perfume pick out of my collection. I hope you enjoyed those. Let me know. Comment below if you have any of those fragrances and what do you think about them? Do you like those fragrances? Do you wear them? Uh, what is the longevity on that fragrance for you? Let me know. Talk to me. Talk to me. I'd love to hear from you. All right. So until next time, I want to thank you all. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that this is your first time seeing me, welcome. You are greatly appreciated. Thank you for your time. It is extremely valuable, as all of ours is, so I really appreciate you. I want to welcome my new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. The comments, I've got questions coming in and emailed to me. I really appreciate it. So sometime this week, I'm going to come on and answer three more questions. I'll try to answer two or three questions a week uh, as time permits. And so I really appreciate the questions so far. They have been very professional uh, respectful questions and I appreciate that from you all and I'll try to provide you with the same uh, in return okay so I thank you I appreciate you all again much love have a beautiful blessed week be greater than great until next time
This is Color Me Bad saying bye for now. God bless. Stay tuned for part two.